hello out there welcome to this tutorial it's on loss of logarithms and we'll be looking at the applications of the laws of logarithms in our previous video we gave the laws of logarithms and examples to reflect on each of the laws of logarithms so today we want to look at the application in general so we start with problem one problem one evaluate each of the following logarithms we have problem a b and uh, c so we start with uh, problem a for problem a since the logarithms are of the same base so the base of this logarithm is base 10 so this is base 10 base 10 base 10 so we just pick the logarithm and uh, pick the first number which is 6 if you are adding you multiply that's multiply by 45 since this is subtraction we said divide by 27 6 times 45 is 270 divided by 27 gives 10 so we have it as log 10 since this is base 10 log 10 to base 10 gives 1 the logarithm of a number to the base of that number is 1 so we have our final answer as 1 we go to the b part of the problem we have log 10 to base 2 minus log 45 to base 2 plus 2 log 6 to base 2. Here these 2 log 6 base 6 will become power so that we now have log 10 minus log 45 plus log 6 squared all in the same base 2. So this 6 squared is 36 so applying the law of logarithm this is subtraction we pick the logarithm to base 2 the first number is 10 so we have 10 the next logarithm is minus log 45 base 2 that's going to give us a divide by 45 this is addition we have it as multiply by 36 this is addition multiply by 6 squared which is 36 now we keep the logarithms so 10 divided by 45 times 36 gives uh, 8 so we have log 8 base 2 and uh, 8 can be expressed as index form of 2 so we have it as log 2 raised to power 3 base 2 now again this power will come down so you now have it as 3 log 2 base 2 log 2 base 2 is 1 times 3 that will give us a 3 so that is the solution of the problem B we go to C problem C log 35 base 7 minus log 56 base 7 plus log 32 base 7 minus log 20 base 7 so again since they have the same base so we have log to be 7 this is a uh, 35 this is subtraction that is divide by 56 plus log 32 that will be times 32 divide by 20 so we have it as a log to be 7 simplifying this we have it as a 1 so we have it as 1 and log 1 to be 7 is 0 logarithm of one to any base is zero so that is the end of the solution to problem one we go to problem two in problem two evaluate each of the following logarithms let me start with uh, problem a and uh, the common logarithm here is base eight so we keep the logarithm to base eight the first value there is 7 over 5 this minus means divide by 3 over 10 this addition means multiplication times 12 over 14 so this division we change it to multiplication we have it as log 7 over 8 times 10 over 3 
then multiply by 12 over 14 if you simplify these 5 to 14 oh this is this will give us log to be 8 4 so log 4 base 8 uh, we can just use the relationship between logarithm and indices to solve this so if we let it be equal to x that means 4 is equal to 8 to the power of x 4 is equal to 8 to the power of x expressing 4 as index form of 2 we have a 2 squared and uh, 8 is 3 squared so we have it as 2 raised to the power 3 x now since the bases are equal the numerators are equal so i have a 3 x is equal to 2 x is equal to 2 over 3 x is equal to 2 over 3 so which means log 4 to base 8 is 2 over 3 it's equal to 2 over 3 so that's the end of solution to problem 2a so we go to problem 2b for problem 2b the base of these logarithms is 10 base here 10 base here 10 base here 10 they are in base 10 again we pick the logarithm to be 10 so the first value there is 3 over 8 since we are adding here we multiply by change this one to improper fraction that's going to give us 14 over 9 then this is minus it becomes divide by 7 over 12 changing this to multiplication we have it as a log 3 over 8 times 14 over 9 then times 12 over 7 times 12 over 7 there so simplifying this we have it as log 1 3 3 3 3 3 here 4 2 7 log 1 log 1 to be 10 will give us a 0 so that's the solution to problem B we go to C what is C part of the problem we have a, a coefficient here we can call it 1 over 3 log 27 over 8 this is 2 log 10 over 3 so we need to take care of this 1 over 3 and 2 here so that's going to give us a log 27 over 8 to the power of 1 over 3 then plus log 10 over 3 squared this coefficient comes up here then minus 1 over log 60 so 27 over 8 raised to power 3 we can simplify that one here that means it is going to be cube root of 27 over 8 cube root of 27 is 3 cube root of 8 is 2 so we have our answer as 3 over 2 so from here now which means log to be 10 is going to be 3 over 2 this is addition it turns to multiplication 10 squared is 100 over 9 since 3 squared is 9 then divide by 1 over 60 so changing this to multiplication I have log 3 over 2 times 100 over 9 then multiply by 60 over 1 so uh, simplifying this we have it as log 1000 and uh, 1000 is 10 raised to power 3 so I can have it as 3 log 10 since 1000 is 10 raised to power 3 so the 3 comes down to become 3 log 10 log 10 to be 10 is 1 1 times 3 gives a uh, 3 that's the end of solution to problem 2 and invariably this is the end of loss of logarithms applications part one so please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel oninab resources like and share this video
Thank you for watching. Till we come your way again. Goodbye.